Good morning once again, friends, and I want to welcome you to my chair and my place where I can try to answer your questions to the best of my ability. This morning I had a confidential question from my dear, dearest little mermaid. And dear, we will keep this betwixt ourselves. For your question, I would say this. Number one, we cannot change people. The only people we can change are ourselves and our reactions to situations and our reaction to life itself. But I would say this. The the problem you described should be left to the the uncle and the husband to themselves. As the old saying goes, one should never air their dirty laundry in front of other people. For in doing so, it not only upsets the husband and the uncle, but it is upsetting everyone else in the room. So I would say, even though it is hard to to advise this because the best advice is to stay out of it would be that one of the two the husband or the uncle agree with each other to not have confrontations at all until they are at a place and time on their own where they can come out with whatever is bothering them now some things are not fixable as i remember from my own counseling as a young girl. I was going through some troubled times and I went to a pastor at Bethel Lutheran Church. And he, this pastor told me, Dear Dobie, of course he didn't know me by my name back then, he just said, Dippy, but I'm Dear Dobie now. He said, Dear Dobie, some things in life cannot be fixed. And that has stuck with me through all these many years. How true, how true. But life is so very short, my dear, dear little mermaid. And one should fill it with as much joy as possible. And the best way to do that is to be a carrier of joy yourself and reflect the love of your dear Heavenly Father who loves you and loves your husband and your dear uncle just the same. So, dearest one, try to tell yourself there is nothing you can do, but only the best thing is to pray to your Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ, and ask Him to work things, all things out for the good to those who love Him, and certainly He will. But for now, I do hope you all can enjoy the vacation and Put aside the the bad moments, and if sh they should happen again, then perhaps one would speak out and say, Enough! Enough! This is a time of joy, peace, and relaxation. But remember, it is hard to interfere. It is most, uh, most proper not to interfere. But when it affects one and all, then it is hard put not to keep one's mouth shut. That is all. I hope that dear Dobie has let, uh, shed some light on the situation. But if not, I've done the very best I could, my little mermaid. And you all enjoy the lovely day now, and the beach, and the sun, and the sand, and the beautiful, tranquil music you hear in the background. Because remember, Dear Dobie loves you very much. And uh, you know what this means. Bye. Oh, such warm, sad music. Oh. Nuts. Have a nice day. It's time to enjoy life.